And then we went to England for our next album, which was Citadel. That's this record. This album, uh, we were trying to um, get make this the music on this record a little bit more accessible than the music that we'd done for um, for Fountains of Light. And um, so there are some songs that you'll see that are that try to be a little bit more accessible. Uh, we use the same sort of uh, intricate vocal techniques on the recording of this album. We again worked with Roy Thomas Baker on this one, and then we went to London to mix it down. And um, as it happened, Elton John was also working at that studio in London at the same time. I didn't meet him, but some of the guys in the group did meet him. And another thing that happened during the recording of Citadel, um, I remember really clearly, we were um, in the studio. Uh, and we were doing vocal overdubs. Uh, Roy was up in the control room along with the engineer, and uh, we did a take, and then there was a little silence, and we heard Roy come over the talk back saying, guys, I just heard that Elvis Presley died. So it's odd that we heard the news that Elvis died while being in the studio and recording vocals for the Citadel album. That's one memory that I have of uh, making this record. Another thing that was fun is we had some uh, really cool, uh, very echoey uh, percussion sounds that we used. And I think there was uh, like a church next door, and Roy actually ran mic cables from the studio over to this church, and he had Steve Tassler uh, take his uh, instruments over there and play some of the percussion instruments in this church to get that wonderful room reverberation that you get inside of a, of a sanctuary. So. It's just one of those uh, little things that uh, that you do in order to get the right sound from time to time.